everybody and welcome to the vlog. And that's right, I have a box here. We're gonna do a little unboxing here in a minute. You guys know Christmas is coming and it's like Christmas here when I'm unboxing snakes. But first I'm gonna head over to the Raptor and see what is going on over there. Let's go ahead and get this vlog kicked off. Okay, <laughs> seriously, this is, a, this is an empty box. I, I wouldn't kick a box of snakes. And I wonder, uh, Jay, how many uh, over under, what's your estimate of how many videos are gonna be out there showing me kicking a box of snakes? Over under, I'm gonna say 10. All right, <laughs> <laughs> I would never do. Let's go ahead and head over to the Reptarium. Uh, looks like someone's happy to see the gators here. We're going to try to get those gators from Gatorland, the little babies, but we haven't been able to ship because the weather hasn't been that good. Again, we'll get the new little baby gators, train them up for a month, month and a half, uh, and then we'll send these guys back. But I miss them. Look at how cute they are. Oh my God, they always come up and hang on and see me. Oh, and by the way, there's a camera in there if you go to Reptile Live Camps. And also, I want to thank Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Been working with Dollar Shave Club for the last two years. Couldn't be more happy. They're absolutely an incredible company, and uh, it's just an honor to be working with them so thank you Dollar Shave Club more on that a little bit later in the vlog it's so cool to see the emerald tree ball out hunting I mean it's cool because usually they're just kind of coiled up on the top for whatever reason the last few weeks it's just been really pushing food so uh, it's cool definitely gonna feed it later on today because it's ready to go looking for food that's an awesome snake now back to the real <laughs> unboxing yeah this one does actually have snakes in it and you know I know I'm screwing around with you guys about kicking the box and stuff like that but this is funny how I swear to gosh I'm not kidding you I bet you somebody will make a meme or something like that of me kicking that certainly would never do anything like that uh you gotta have fun guys you know what i mean don't worry about it so anyway these are ball pythons that my buddy said he's actually a breeder of ball pythons and basically he just wholesales me all his babies you know he only produces a handful of clutches but they're all really cool animals and uh, i'm gonna be totally honest with you i remember about three weeks ago he contacted me and he said hey i've got my last ball pythons can i send them to you i think he might have told me what they were but i completely forgot the thing i like about this guy is that he actually feeds them up really well before he sends them to us so they're not fresh babies and you you know, fresh baby ball pythons are fine, but uh, but the fact is is that he kind of does the hard work for us, getting everything eaten, and I can't get this thing open, so I'm just gonna cut it, you know what I mean? So, and still it's not bad. Gosh, this is a tough bot. This is a tough bag right here. Okay, good. All right, let's go ahead and just see what he sent us. First bag. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. Oh, what are these things? I don't see a packing list, although I might have just thrown it on the floor. So I'm gonna have to guess to some extent what these are. So, okay, so we definitely have some crystal ball pythons here. These are the Mojave special ball pythons. A Lelic animal, absolutely gorgeous. I love crystal ball pythons for sure. I remember, again, the first crystal ball pythons were like $40,000. A guy named Tom Baker spontaneously produced them. Absolutely incredible. So it looks like we have, let's see, one, two, and three three crystal ball pythons. Now, I'm looking at the rest of these ball pythons here, and these are definitely albinos here. This is an albino, this is an albino, and this is an albino. I don't know if they're hep or anything. Again, I think he must send a packing list somewhere, maybe sent an email. Looks like, to me, these are albino enchi ball pythons. Uh, again, I'm not sure what they are, but I'm pretty positive they're albino enchi. Maybe they're hep or something. I'm not 100% sure, but nevertheless, some beautiful albinos, some beautiful albino enchis, and some beautiful crystals. Oh, Oh, and uh, by the way, uh, it's on the side of the bag what we have in here. So we had, let's see, super, wait a second. Oh, okay, this is the pairing. It was a super Mojave to a super special, meaning that because it's a Lelic, everything from the clutch is gonna be a crystal. That's a great breeding. And again, my buddy does a lot of that where he breeds like a super Mojave to a super phantom, produces all mystic potions. I mean, that is so smart. And then, okay, so this was an albino entry to an albino. So, okay, so we had albinos, we had albino entries, and of course we had the crystal. So, wow, that's awesome. And I can't believe I didn't look at the bag first. I think he probably sent an invoice as well, but nevertheless, uh, that's good to go. Ooh, this bag is a lot easier to untie, thankfully. All right, here we go. And now I can actually look at the, well, you know, I'm not even gonna look what's in here. I'm just gonna take a peek at the actual animals herself. Ooh, I don't remember him telling me about these. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got here. Oh, beautiful bag. Look at this. 
Look at that handful of snakes right there. It's incredible. And right off the rip, I could see there's definitely a beautiful pastel clown right here. And again, I don't remember him telling me he had pastel clowns. So beautiful pastel clown. We've got another beautiful pastel clown right here. And what's interesting is look at the polymorphism within pastel clowns. The two animals are exactly the same genetically, but they look radically different. The one is super faded out and almost has that purpley hue to it. The other one's just a little bit darker, but still pastel clowns. Looks like we have one little clown ball python in here. Really beautiful. Definitely looks like it's a blade clown because you could tell that really reduction of pattern that's striping down its back. That's a beautiful snake. And then it looks like we have some pastels and uh, maybe one normal. I'm assuming these are probably het for clown, but let's go ahead and take a look at the bag. What do we have here? Oh, this whole clutch, this is one clutch. It was a pastel clown bred to a clown. So yes, these are all either clowns, pastel clowns, or het clowns, or pastel heifer clowns, whatever the case may be. Nevertheless, absolutely gorgeous bunch of snakes. And that's it, guys, just two bags, three clutches, uh, beautiful snakes. And again, I love having friends that produce such beautiful snakes and uh, send them to me. So we'll get these guys set up, quarantine them for a couple weeks, get them feeding, and they'll be on the website. And speaking of websites, if you guys are interested in buying a reptile, leopard gecko, ball python, corn snake, whatever the case may be, BHP Reptile is having, I think it's like our 12th annual Black Friday sale. It's a huge sale. Every single animal, including this pie ball, ball python right here, will be on sale. It could be anywhere from 20 to 50% off everything in BHB. So make sure to go to www.bhbreptiles.com. Again, Black Friday. It's going to be off the hook. Sure. Big Yo. Black Friday sale coming up. Dude, you, so what, what are you excited about buying on Black Friday? I mean, do you buy like TV or something? Are you buying anything? I, yeah, I buy really weird. I buy really weird stuff. I don't know. Not that I'm like a hardcore prepper, but I like all that emergency kind of stuff at home, you, you know. Like, so you know, like zombie apocalypse or something. Zombie apocalypse kind of stuff. Do you think it's really gonna happen? It could. You never know. But you might as well just let it collect dust, and you never have to use it. Hopefully, you know. So what did you do for Y two K? Y two K. I was too young. I was like, I want to grill cheese. I don't oh, okay. care about these computers. Right. So what are you buying? Body armor. Huh? Huh? What? Level what? three. What? Okay. You know, good deals on Black Friday. Good deals, great armor. deals. So if great I want to buy deal. half off, yeah, perfect time. Okay. Yep. Half off. Half off. So oh why God. not, right? right no, I, you know, probably get some, some electronics. Who knows? I don't like to stand in line and fight people over stuff, but we'll see. It's it's all online nowadays, right? You just go on there, bam. Okay, so. There you go. All right. All right, good luck with your body armor. Thank you. Back to the Dollar Shave Club. Like I mentioned, they've been supporting our blog for quite a bit of time, and I am a fan. When they came to me, I was already using their products, so I love them to death. You know, I definitely use their shower gel. I use Face Clean, their toothbrush, toothpaste. Uh, I hope one day I'll hit puberty and I can start using their razors, but actually Noah uses their razors, so we absolutely love them. And if you need a Christmas gift, uh, they have you covered. From members gift packs, to gift certificates, to the new Reblancho. That is a robe, a blanket, and a I mean, you, you can't get any better than this. Dollar Shave Club is truly incredible, and they actually sent me a starter clip. Let's go take a look. With the executive handle and blades, weighty handle, and high quality six blades, you're pretty much set for a couple months with that, as well as this one ounce tube of Dr. Carver Shave Butter. Transparent for more precise shave, helps protect ingrown hairs, and helps fight razor bumps. Dollar Shave Club has some absolutely amazing- I could amazing use this right now, oh, yeah. dude, I could no, use this. No, dude, I want Visit dollarshaveclub.com slash Brian B. Get the shave starter set for only $5 and check out all their great holiday gift sets. After that, the restock box ships full size products at regular price. Thank you, Dollar Shave Club, for bringing our family even closer together. Make sure to go to dollarshaveclub.com slash Brian B for this special offer. Lori stopped by the P.O. box and had a couple things to open. What is this? It's already uh, partially open. I'm not sure. I think. <laughs> go ahead, open it. It says, what? please open please me open. on the vlog. Okay, and who's it from? Miss Rebecca. Miss Rebecca. Okay, good. Well, go ahead, open up. Maybe you can open it. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to open it. So what, I, is this for you or is it for Phoebe? For, for, for <laughs> <laughs> probably cut that. Okay. <laughs> to Brian, Lori, Noah, and the animals, hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new wishing you a very Merry Christmas from Rebecca and my animals. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, that's awesome. 
I'm so excited about this breeding season coming up and these little Antaracea, which are children's spotted and Stimson's pythons are so adorable. This is an adult animal right here. This is actually a female Stimson's python. It's so cool to have a little python from Australia that just gets literally like, you know, two and a half, three foot long. So it's just a great option if you want a python or a boa, but you're like, I don't want a big animal. A Stimson children's spotted python, they're awesome. And look at how absolutely adorable they are. We're gonna have like four less cages than I originally thought. But I think it's probably better to have the big cool displays as that you have. As long as we have animals to go in there, like that we already pre-know, right. because I know some of these is like, you can make something work, but it's not designed exactly right. for right. what we have. Right. Right. That's, right. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Well, I know we're gonna do the croc monitor. So I was thinking with the croc monitor, that would be like the cage right as soon as you walk through this big, you know, six yeah. foot by six foot by six and a half foot tall cage. Yeah, it has lots dude. of branches and stuff like that. Are we gonna move Daisy into one of the tall? Cause then it'd be like Lucy where she can climb up and do it. Not a bad idea, it's not a bad idea. Well, the anaconda's gonna have the big cage. Big, like, like, like almost like, like Bowser's. Like, it's gonna be, well, bigger. Oh, it's right. gonna be a huge cage. Okay, so. what else can we put in the tall ones though? Uh, I guess we just have to put... Well, you're gonna have the monitors in one, right? The, uh... Well, we got two that's gonna have to go in one. We True. got the savannah. Yeah. Your comfort's excellent. Hmm. Maybe it's brown tone. Really? You'll see it. If you get outside concrete wet, mm -hmm. that's the finish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a rich brown. Right. And then when you cut to a depth where you show some of the stone and aggregate, it'll, aggregate yeah. Yeah, it'll fit with your look. I can fit right on your skin. Oh, okay, so you only need a week or two. I, right now, I'm, I'm hoping that in a perfect world, I'd love Matt to be done in here by Christmas. Well, you're not coming in. You have yeah, unforeseen electrical and plumbing things. Uh, so I'll, I'll grab I'll it. I'll write you a proposal. Yeah, please do. Yeah, I'll give you my email address. So let's uh, and I'll grab your... And I'll, I'll put you together a... Uh, What's up, everybody? Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for helping me reach 5K. It means so much to me. I love making art and taking beautiful photographs and the fact that you guys actually want to see them and be part of our journey here. So again, thank you so much. The next contest will actually be at 10K, but as for now, I picked. It, I went to a random number generator, got a random number, went through my followers list and actually found Abby Connors. You are the winner. I'll be uh, getting in contact with you through Instagram and we'll figure out which animal you want a picture of and I'll take it for you, okay? So, uh, Abby Connors, congratulations, and again, thank you so much, guys, I'm humbled. So today, we're gonna have a little bit of a story time, all right? My dad being my dad, we've been in the business for a long time, all right? He used to take me to the reptile shows as a kid, so I had a lot of experiences. At this one show, we were over in New York, and, you know, I just kind of wandered around the Reptile Expo, walking around my little kid self, probably six or seven, just walking around looking at these cool snakes. <laughs> and then... Sorry. Eric. Huh? Eric. Sorry. Pause. Shoe. I have to... I, I need to... Get out of here, dude. I just... I'm no, sorry. No, listen. I'm get, so sorry. All right, thank you. Anyways, so I see this cool little ball python, and my little kid is just like, Hey, um, sir? How much is that ball python? And he just looks at me, he's like, it's 20. And for some reason I had $20 in my pocket and I was like, okay, cool, I'll take this one. And he looks at his friend and he goes, ha, 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 ha. He laughs because it was really $20,000, but I had 20 bucks. I was like, dude, why are you tricking a little kid, dog? You say 20, I'm six. Here's 20! What's up, man? Dude, I got a really exciting animal for you. What? You might want to jump on it. What is it? It's a Lake Orion locality house centipede. Dude, those things freak me out, man. They? No, no, I hate those. I, I hate them. No, 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 no. I've They're, captured what, are one. They, don't they call them like silverfish or something like that? Is that I, what they call them? I call silverfish? them leggy boys. Okay? Leggy boys. They're little no, leggy boys. You know, I, I actually lived in my mom's basement when I was a teenager, and those things would actually be all over my bed. Oh. I'd wake up, and sometimes I'd have to go upstairs and sleep on the couch. Oh my God. Those are, if you, if you pick one animal in the world, that I was terrified of, it would be- So those. don't bring it in. You, oh if, man, oh, okay. If you bring it in, you won't have a job tomorrow. So you better- I've, that I've captured it. You've captured Dude, it? Dude, we found it. Okay, did I have a bunch die? of five. No, I didn't, I almost oh, did. Oh we have a bunch of five gallon buckets for all the water changes, fish stuff. It was just chilling in the bottom. So I had a little container, I captured him. Dude, I They're fed fast. him a couple crickets, they jump. 
What? They literally jump. They don't even what? run. What? Boom. Oh my god. Don't, Enemy. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Dude, about this. the cricket is gone. There's two little legs and the little antennas. It oh. eats the whole thing. Oh my gosh. Really like, creepy. Thanks, but listen, man. it's a okay. lake or in locality. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna get a good to price my, on it. I'm gonna need to talk to my doctor about my medication. Dude, it today. is. They're all really freaky. And every day I check that little container and I'm like, please God, don't get out. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? Kill it? It's cold outside. No, you gotta keep it alive, but it will kill your whole family. No, I know. It's, oh, a, it's a creature of Satan, okay? <laughs> I love all animals, but those, they gotta go. Do really, not read really, it. Okay, I, I will won't. kill you. I won't. Yeah, I won't. I won't. <laughs> If you guys like this video, you can do me a favor and right over here, you can go ahead and watch another video and an entire playlist right here over on this side. Could you smash that subscribe button for me? While you're at it, could you turn the post notifications on? Remember to have an absolutely wonderful day and you better be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.